You know what I always find so amusing when people are like, "Be careful with Britney Renner. Watch out for Britney Renner. The big bad scary gold." I would never want my son with a girl like her. <laughs> Listen, those of you who have the strongest opinions about me genuinely want me to stick my whole tongue in your ass. You just don't know how to ask for it. Ever since I ruined my reputation, I'm free to be myself. And that's really what a lot of you hate to see because you live a lie every single day. You're settling every single day. You're miserable every single day. And here I am. What makes me a what? side chick? Because the, what, I'm beautiful? And no, what? because the one who everybody but does a wife, that's a side chick. Sorry. So who have I, who, who have I been side chick You're to? You wrote a book. Who have I been a side chick? But I was never a side chick. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Renner, the greatest talent scout of her generation. She scrambled in the pocket with Colin Kaepernick, but had to cut ties after Fashion Nova couldn't support his political protests. She took a romantic trip to Rack City with Tyga, but the young money Marvel was overly dedicated to his only fans. She romanced a big baller in Ben Simmons, but passed him off to Kendall Jenner once she saw his jumper was beyond repair. We thought her love with Lil Uzi Vert was eternal, but it's tough to stay committed when all of your friends are dead. She secured the certified lover boy himself in Drake, but father time is undefeated. She dated strip club Hall of Famer James Harden. My sister's been through a lot. A dick. Get well, when you write well, a book about having casual wrote about. and by the way, not before. one of them claimed you. We assume, you, you know why men don't claim women? Because we have our real girl that we don't want to tell about you. Perfect. Boom. Roasted. 30 flirty and thriving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could never. You could never. You could never be Brittany Renner, babe. But you know what I love? I love that you know this ain't that and that ain't this. Because y'all know who to play with. <laughs> Fuck no, baby. <laughs> I'm just honest. I don't fear anyone or anything, so I never find it necessary to lie. Oh, I'm honest, and I don't tell any lies. But our brother PJ can test the fight. Oh, he needs God. some milk. When he was with her, while he was rearranging some guts, she probably had this in the back of her mind the whole time. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. I'm leaving here with something. So my brothers, today we're going to expose the dark truths about female nature. And we're going to talk about Britney Jenner's Simp Daddy Season. Yes, yes you're a queen. <laughs> Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. Hey, y'all. Hi. It's officially Step Daddy Season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Crossing in the back. My cheek slang warriors. In the book of Thoughtalidians, section cheek slang collaborations, verse 1122, it states If she has a child chair in the back seat, my brother, she got dug out by a raw meat. And now she's a single mother that belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. And she probably got roaches in her sheets because she got stomped and ran through like a track meat my brother her body count is not close to petite you're going to need a whole excel sheet yeah. to compute those large numbers just like on wall street My brothers, according to the book of Hoology, Brittany Renner is just the type of girl you dick em, stick em, and then drop, kick em. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Perfect. Lions Barrage. Perfect. 
Perfect. What Southpaw happened? Against Where Southpaw. did all the men go? Well, Connor was oh, oh, When will guys realize? that Brittany Renner has more mileage than a 1994 Honda Accord. When will guys realize that Brittany Renner has collected more bodies than the battles of Gettysburg in the Civil War? When will guys realize that once the trash can is out in the dumpster, you do not go digging back in the trash can. She belongs to the streets. And every time you see a girl like her, my brother, you run and you retreat. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! Let's go to the park. <laughs> Don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with, but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else. Okay? It just will. That's how that goes. And trust me, I know it's ghetto. It is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary. But, mm, me and my baby gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. The psychopathic bitch. I'm gonna pause the video right there because my cheek slang senses are just tingling. Because if you guys look at her aura, her body language, her demeanor, we are looking at a woman who is very damaged and hurt, even though she portrays, oh, I'm all right, but she's hurting inside. That reverse psychology does not work on my cheek slang shotting gun. Because analyzing through this with the RP lens, fellas, you can tell that she made a mistake being a single mother and she does not want to be a single mother. Why? Because she knows having a kid decreases her sexual market value because no guy wants to be with the girl with kids because children, they're kind of like farts. You can only tolerate your own and she knows that. So therefore she goes on social media saying, oh, I'm good, I'm happy. Now I'm looking for a step daddy, looking for a simp to come take care of me and my kids. That is a bunch of hogwash. And here's my two cents. Fellas, these types of Women have no value. Fella, fellas, out of 10,000 nerves in my body, this woman has triggered every single one. Because if you guys strip her of her beauty, strip her of her buttocks. Perfect. Fellas, this woman is portraying predator behavior. Think about it. If a guy did what she did, society will execute him. The fact that Brittany can get away with this is because she is a pretty woman. That's it. And it just shows you the double standard. And also another one of my subscribers asked me, does Brittany Renner hate men? And I'm going to break down this clip to you guys. Do you hate men? <laughs> No, I don't hate men. Even after that book and everything that you had it to pour in? It actually cleansed my heart. I don't Really? I was going to ask you, yeah. like, did you feel better? Do you feel like you can't, like, you have, when you date now, you have to pick really wisely because you wrote this book where you kind of, like, shed a light on all your mistakes in dating, and now you feel like, since you put that all out there, do you feel like you have to be really, really... So here's my two cents. Brittany Renner does not hate men. She loves what men can do for her, and she uses men. Guys, let's be honest, without us, without the men in her life, she will be nobody. Think about it. She made a whole career off men. She built her whole career off Instagram. And guess who made Instagram? Yeah, a man. Fellas, I'll tell you what kind of creature she is later down the video. Fellas, these types of women will use a man's Weakness, use her lust to leverage it. Gets what she wants, dominates him, juices him to the juices, is squeezed to a pulp. Oh my God! And the one she gets everything from that man, she dominates him, she will leave. And fellas, pay attention to who she hangs out with. She's hanging out with Tiana Trump. That is a professional career.
gobbler. Gobbler. Because in the Cheek Slang Constitution, verse 777, it states that birds of a feather flock together. One plus one is two. If she hangs out with hoes, she's one, two. Now back to the video. We're moving forward, onward, and upward. Okay, I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not a threat. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son, put him on your story. I trust his judgment. I really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear I do. Now, I'm not a threat. But, you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe I'll definitely be in your favor. <laughs> but I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? My brothers, before we begin church today, Western men need to take notes from Father Future. She belongs to the streets. Western men need to take notes from Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was a true cheek slaying warrior. He's the definition of an anti simp. He knew the type of girl Britney was, so he made her buy her own flight ticket. What a trooper. That is the type of shit that will get you into the Hall of Fame. Give Colin Kaepernick a gold jacket. Get his jacket. Western men need to take notes from Lil Uzi Vert. And you know what's really crazy, Samir? Is that when I originally got invited, I was not even going to go. But it was so crazy. Like, we're in the same city. And you really weren't that pressed to see me. You didn't really care to spend time with me. You actually didn't even respond to my text the day that I had texted you. I mean, you don't even fuck me. It's like, if I were to tell you I don't want to suck your dick, well then I would think that you'd probably get somebody else to do it, right? It's the same kind of concept. I've given you so many chances after embarrassing me publicly Time after time again, when I know you still that other on top of the other one, and God knows how many more. So it's like, you really have nobody to blame but yourself. Do you guys know what kind of specimen and what kind of creature we are dealing with? You are looking at a Jezebel spirit. And the Jezebel spirit is a very underlooked spirit in the Bible. The Jezebel spirit is out to terrorize all of mankind and suck and drain him of all of his resources. Look at Brittany Jenner, Skip Bayless looking ass, Dracula face looking ass, I wanna suck your blood. <laughs> With her Jumbotron, Stephen A. Smith looking ass, I wanna suck your blood and resources and suck the cobra. Because that's all a Jezebel spirit knows, is to use her lust to get after men. And you know what? The number one thing that pisses off a Jezebel spirit is when she does not receive the attention and validation from men. And Uzi Vert did not give it to her. And what does she do? She tries to shame him. My brother Uzi Vert, give yourself a pat on the back because you've been reading scriptures out of the cheek slang collaborations. Because in verse 233, it states, Never fold for these hoes. Never get manipulated by a woman's face and big booty. And let's be honest. Brittany Renner's Genjutsu is absolutely strong. She's gorgeous. But Uzi Vert did not buy into that because he saw right through her deception. In my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> So here's a little fun fact to add some enlightenment and a little bit of razzle-dazzle to your day. So, do you guys know who the two 
richest women in the world are. So here's the million dollar question. A, do you guys think these women became billionaires by starting their own successful business? B, they made an OnlyFans and became professional cream gobblers and made millions off it. Or C, these women did absolutely nothing and became rich from divorce. My brothers, drum roll police. If you guys answer B, you're close but incorrect. But if you guys answer C, that is the correct answer. Now, revealing number one. Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie Scott was the ex-wife of the richest man in the world. Now she tops the list at a 57.7 billion net worth just from the divorce from her husband. Now, number two, Melinda Gates. Melinda Gates was married to Bill Gates and after the divorce with Bill Gates, she is now worth a staggering net worth of 1.8 billion and counting. And fellas, to close off this video, this just kind of damages society. Because think about it, Brittany Renner has over 4.5 million followers on Instagram, and she's posting all these videos about her finessing men. So what do you guys think will goes on the mind of the little girls that's watching her. Some girls look up to her. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna have this mindset, oh, if Brittany Renner can do it, I can do it. And they're just gonna try to finesse every single man they can. But a lot of these girls are not going to have the looks like Brittany Renner. It's delusional. So we're just delusioning, del we're just brainwashing our women to be delusional. So fellas, that's it for today's video. And may I cap this video off with this? Fellas, be careful who you date. Be smart about it. Because let me finish off with this. My brothers, may I remind you that there is no woman out there more beautiful than your freedom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Renner, the greatest talent scout of her generation. She scrambled in the pocket with Colin Kaepernick but had to cut ties after Fashion Nova couldn't support his political protest. She took a romantic trip to Rack City with Tyga, but the Young Money Marvel was overly dedicated to his OnlyFans. She romanced a big baller in Ben Simmons, but passed him off to Kendall Jenner once she saw his jumper was beyond repair. We thought her love with Lil Uzi Vert was eternal, but it's tough to stay committed when all of your friends are dead. She secured the certified lover boy himself in Drake, but father time is undefeated. She dated strip club hall of famer James Harden, 